we have a local solid waste management plan and we, we set goals and priorities. The top priorities is to re educate the community to try to reduce as, as much of our waste as possible and then uh, ultimately recover as much of it as possible through recycling, composting, household hazardous waste uh, collection, electronic recycling. What's left ultimately ends up having to go to our regional landfill in the town of Avon. The landfill site was chosen after a 12-year siting process and a huge investment on the Solid Waste Authority's part um, to ensure that uh, the site was compliant with all the state and federal regulations. Hundreds of constraints were placed upon every site within the two counties to ensure that we had the right site. One of the more important ones is hydrogeology. You want to make sure where you build a landfill it's not uh, over a primary drinking water aquifer, for example. You want to make sure the soils are naturally tight and impermeable. Uh, the site in the town of Ava happens to be in an area where there is no primary drinking water aquifer and there is natural glacial till that is extremely impermeable. It's like molding clay and it acts as a natural liner. So we took that site with natural liner and then actually constructed an engineered liner system on top of that to ensure that uh, ultimately, we were managing that waste as responsibly as possible. Uh, what we have uh, constructed at the landfill is a, a double composite liner system. And what this system is, it's uh, nearly six and a half feet of liner. It's a combination of natural materials and clay-like soils coupled with synthetic materials or liners. This system is monitored continuously we essentially place all of our waste into this double or dual composite line system. We collect any water that comes from our waste. We call that water leachate. Proper management of the leachate and leachate collection is our major goal at a modern landfill. The leachate is first collected on top of the primary liner. The primary liner is constructed to be sloped are graded, which allows us to take advantage of gravity. The leachate flows down the slope on top of the primary liner and then into a system of double-walled pipes, then travels into double-walled transfer manholes, then into a double-walled gravity main, which carries the leachate to a pump house. From the pump house, it is then pumped into line secondary contained leachate storage tanks. We ultimately ensure that all the water or leachate is treated at a wastewater treatment plant. Outside our double liner system, we have actually groundwater monitoring wells to monitor that groundwater that's not drinking water, but to ensure that this double lined engineered system is functioning properly. So uh, we're always double checking the system and uh, that's driven by regulation and, and our policy. The primary goal is to make sure we're not polluting any groundwater. We're also not polluting the air and damaging the environment. The landfill first opened in October of 2006. Its original design life was 62 years, uh, utilizing average uh, uh, in-place density for the waste. We actually investigated and invested in the heaviest and largest solid waste compactor we could buy. This is the machine that actually places the waste and compacts the waste in the liner system. We also uh, installed a GPS control system on that compactor. So our operators, when they're placing waste, they are placing it as efficiently as possible and they're compacting it to um, densities that you typically don't see at landfills. Uh, based upon our investment in the way the facility is operated, the facility has a remaining lifespan of over 70 years. So we've increased the uh, estimated life of the facility, um, which is will ultimately benefit uh, everyone in the two counties for years to come. There's many ways we operate a modern landfill that's different than the old days. And these include everything from covering the waste daily to help control uh, vectors and odor to um, screening waste. We actually, this is a huge thing, we actually visit manufacturers or processors and identify waste before it even goes in a landfill, 
grab samples, send it to a laboratory. The laboratory will actually simulate what it'll do in a landfill over 20 years um, and ensure that that waste is not hazardous. So there's all these operational um, techniques we use nowadays to make sure we're managing waste responsibly and efficiently. And one huge uh, technique is planning for and actually controlling and managing landfill gas. Uh, landfill gas um, is generated through the natural decomposition of our organic waste. So in the landfill, this natural decomposition happens and now rather than just letting that landfill gas, which is 50% of it is methane, rather than letting that vent to our atmosphere, we capture it through a system of pipes and wells and our goal was to ultimately beneficially utilize it. Um, we put in this active gas collection system which you use a, essentially a large blower to draw the gas out of the landfill. We have that in place, it's constructed, and we have entered into a contract with a company to beneficially utilize that gas to turn a large generator and produce electricity. And we will add generators as the gas increases. Initially, the facility will generate enough electricity to take care of the annual needs of over 1,200 households. And ultimately, we'll have enough generators in place to take care of the annual electrical needs of over 8,900 households.